Okay, so I don't have icebergs uh, yet. I do have nemesis. Well, I got outcast and get, 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 get started. <laughs> Blind Finn. For the shortness tonight, everybody. I am a little bit under the weather. I have so Yanni. Don't I don't have blue collar. I do appreciate you all as usual coming on Friday, especially seeing the uh, numbers come out. Would like to remind everybody that rules are a thing. Rules are enforced. There are a couple of players that are unfortunately not participating with us tonight because they do not follow the rules. Five months. So just also, do it. Don't make us be the bad guys. I feel like I'm asking a dumb question. And if you not have a good time, but you don't make others not have a good time, then you're worse than us when we tell you not to play. I want to remind everybody, be mature. No dicking around. No going rogue. Anything like that. Play within the spirit of the event. You have a chain of command. Stick to it. Uh, there's no reason for you to just start running off and doing your own thing, being off platoon comms. It really turns it chaotic, especially with this amount of people. And uh, we're watching for that stuff, and we're watching for that stuff pretty closely. So if you do it, don't think you're getting away with it, because it's pretty obvious, especially with the Blue Force tracking, and you have a multitude on staff on both sides. Uh, we just opened up a Patreon if you're on Discord. Uh, we already got a whole bunch of... Uh, patreon contributors and supporters so uh thank you it's actually a bit of a surprise to see it catch on that quickly but those of you that are appreciative and enjoy the event that much thank you for supporting the event and all right i'm good with filling up the time with filler uh who made this mission all right that all should right, be brief? everyone all right so this is a capture the flag um Blue Forest found some anomalous data in one of the wave power plants that you have to go capture the flag. Uh, all four can see where the capture point is. Blue Four cannot until the flag is taken off the flagpole. Other than that, it's pretty simple. All right. Do we have any questions from our platoon leaders? Uh, Blue Four's got a question about the flag. Did you say we can't? Okay. All right. All right. All right. That was uh, M2 fonts finishing up. Let me think about what I want. You know what? We'll just we'll just loop M2 fonts for round one. Screw it. All right. How is everyone doing? Conundrum. I'm doing all right. Hopefully you're doing okay. Nesses, thanks for the five month resub. Hope you keep enjoying the ops. Hope you get a kick out of this uh, Friday night fight stream, and uh, hope you're enjoying everything. Um, dumb question, how would I be able to get into FNF on Fridays? Uh, Audrey Hado already did it. Uh, exclamation point FNF. Uh, Discord link and everything is there. So uh, anyway, Op4 know where the flag is. Blue4 do not. I don't know. That was a little weird statement there, but I did. There's also a lot of waterways here. Barb, can you clarify? Um, Op4 knows where the flag is, but Blue4 does not. No, uh, Op4 is attacking. Blue4 is right? defending. Blue4 knows where their flag is. Okay, uh, but Op4 does not. Gotcha. Okay. Op4 does not. That know makes more sense. Blue 4 does not know where Op 4 needs to take it. I don't think Op 4 knows either. Gotcha. They're not going to get it till they pick it up, so. Yeah. Makes sense. Point. All right. So, with that, I mean, bottom right of Altus, uh, plenty of waterway room as well. But, I mean, just a simple 50 cal setup on the southern bank will stop something like that. Yeah, that southern ridge, just looking at the map, that southern ridge with all the wind uh, plant, or tur oh, turbines. Oh, this beautiful player, uh, Cal. Looking over Solanco, Solacano, rather. Mm -hmm. uh, that should be um, a good fire team up there. We'll be able to six. overwatch yeah. most of the AO, I think. There's about 125 people playing this one, too. It's going to be messy. Oh, yeah. Like, but the, so um, it's bigger six. than it's ever been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish I could say that every night. Jesus Christ. But, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, like, the server handled EU really well. We had uh, about 120. We had a, um, whatchamacallit? We had 120, 110, and 100 for rounds 1, 2, and 3, respectively. So, it was, it was pretty good. Oh, short time, or short save start. 12 minutes. Yep, 12 minutes. We have some stuff. And out Turtle, there, thanks uh, for the two gift eBay. subs, my man. I hope you uh, keep uh, enjoying the ops. If you got a sub from Turtle, that. make sure you thank him. Uh, but I hope you uh, get a kick out of uh, this one hanger. and uh, um, keep enjoying yourselves. What the hell are these things meant to be anyway? Just buoys, right? What do you mean? Uh, these are wave buoys. So they, they basically keep data of um, waves when they go by for scientific research. I also love the smoke effects they put on the uh, trawlers. That's pretty cool. And they also have them being towed in as well, though the... Um, the southern one has it kind of clipping downwards, but I mean, I won't nitpick too hard. The it looks good. I like this. This is this is actually pretty damn cool. Yeah, and plus with all the extra fortifications, they're not marked on map, which I think they're, they're wanting to do that more often, just so people can 
take yeah. care of things just from the map, but, um, oh, these trucks, what are these, like, gun trucks from? Holy shit. Uh, those are SOC, uh, fuck, what are they called? Um, I, there's a certain designation for them, I had to deal with them in CC07, um, but it's basically meant to be like a, a triple R truck, but with uh, you know a 50 cal on top. Yeah. It's uh, it's more of um. Exposed. Yeah. Fuck. It's uh, it's a marine thing. Well, that makes sense. Marines do fucking stupid things. But you know, <laughs> Mozzie Bay, this whole Blue Four area. Yeah. Looking over at that ridge. That's actually. I'm gonna edit this. There. I thought it's those were M wraps. Oh, what you may call it a, a template, but uh, like two one five. Zero five nine. Also spell my no, words two, right. Capture and five, eight, uh, while. Five, zero five eight. There's just in the little compound out there that actually isn't that ha as advantageous a position. I thought. Yeah, but the multi uh, multi is good. There's um, a lot of perspectives tonight for you guys. It's looking like about half a click, give or take, uh, from the flag itself. So yeah, we we'll keep good eyes on fire affecting this and that'll vary based on you know who they're shooting at and what with um but otherwise it's very relatively flat terrain mm -hmm. uh relatively flat terrain <laughs> um Prestonville, some ditches that's kind of thing sorry whale just uh posted me and not you <laughs> well whale's banned uh, so lamau Anyway, we got two rusted oh, out oh, bases because yeah, uh, he rammed uh, last uh, last week. But uh, we got actually three rusted out bases for a perimeter, and then we got an internal tower, and then we got an actually uh, we got another base, and then a uh, pretty cool interior. I like how the flag's hidden in the hainer, uh, and it, you know I like the nice buoy setup they've done right here. Uh, I got all this equipment right next to the flag. I like I like the little attention to detail. Also, whale was banned yeah, because. I like Oh, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, I like the perimeter they made. This is pretty cool. Like, I, I really do like the interior as a uh, Zeus that, you know, is a sucker for things like these, but don't you dare make a joke. But Whale got banned because he intentionally tried to run someone over uh, last week during NA, so he got a week long ban because I don't think he knew the rule. And, you know, again, in his shoes, I, I would have made the same call because you go in the zone, you know? Yeah, it, it just, you know, key to the moment, I, you know. You, 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 you make everyone makes mistakes. We're only human. Nice. I, I don't think it was <laughs> just came on my stream and said intentionally succeeded. Uh, well, didn't you miss the person you were trying to run over? Yeah, I thought he got, got stuck. Uh, the Vic got stuck and then he got blown up, but yeah, that's what I remember as well. So I don't know about succeeding. Like the only reason he got in trouble was because he yelled, I'm going to ram him. <laughs> and oh, exploded. yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna going. ram him. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, let's see what all Opford has. I think so that's technically in the ground. It's cool. Yeah. So it looks like these guys are modeled after Chesdaki insurgents to a certain degree. But um, they've got some uh, BTR 60s, two of them. Some, uh, uh, those are 70s. How can you tell the difference visually? I always just call them 60s so, or 80s. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's yeah. actually really simple. Uh, you notice how the wheels on the sides are... Um, like, look at the uh, the treads on the wheels first off. The second difference is the amount of ammo boxes on the side. And the third difference is I read BTR-70 during the mission brief, dumbass. I was about to say, what kind of fucking <laughs> autism do you have that's so powerful that you get based on the tire treads? I can identify that that vehicle is in your debt. Because that BTR already shot you with those full 14.5 millimeter holes. So, give him a warm oh, I God, love it. Fucking... Love you too. Well says successful ram vehicle lasted the mission. Sure, I guess good enough. Success. But I mean, these guys aren't really checking eBay's. They're Russian. Yeah, uh, yeah, they have the EMR and everything, but they have Chesdaki camo vehicles. Uh, it's, it's all that, no, that one's not. Things. It's not Chesdaki. I don't know what camo it is though, because it's not standard Russian either. But we do oh, see the uh, the Chesdaki red see? stars on these Vicks, so I don't know. But that, that's that's, I'm that's not. Up, so if it was Chesdaki, it would um. It would have. It, it's a right different camo. Something. I just know it's not that one, but I could be wrong. Yeah. We do have. You mentioned uh, water access and water fighting. Um, we do have two uh, speedboat uh, with miniguns and those. Uh, they also have the rear, th um, 
that's probably have the thermals Ooh. disabled on the rear ones, but those can be really accurate because uh, they also have the auto ranger and whatnot. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. Half the time uh, elapsed. I'm going to be curious to see how Blue Force sets up, how they try to get behind uh, Op 4 here, or how Op 4 just tries to push in. You missed a really good round. Uh, EU number two. Uh, it was on the pre Kemacha, whatever the fuck, uh, the Vietnam map. And Very Nemesis well. and Nafs got behind that. about 20 independent dudes clip, and yeah. killed all of them. Nemesis unfortunately oh, yeah. died, but Nafs cleaned it up, and that basically won it for Blue 4 in that fight. It was absolutely beautiful. Not as beautiful as what Adriado did, but uh, close. Yeah. I'm also, we. To see um, that the best players are showing up and showing mm -hmm. up. Definitely, but uh, the uh, for the third round, TSB almost walked right on top of two dudes, and then Audrey Hado uh, went uh, solid snake alert over his head with the red exclamation point and just mowed them both down with a machine gun. It was cute. <laughs> oh, by the way, Lee, remember to hit P so you can see the tracers. It's P? I thought it was uh, F U. Um, it's called Your Memory is Shit? And I'm well, trying stop to making me you. thumbnails that get me censored on YouTube, okay? Well, stop looking at porn on stream. Well, that's because it was Vietnam and he was like, I literally looked right, went, oh shit, and immediately looked back, okay? It's not my fault yeah, that unsung devs are perverts. You little, little twink. No, I'm not going to finish that sentence. What? <laughs> it, you, you looked at it and looked away because that's all it took for you to, uh, uh, arrive. Just just a glimpse of a woman in your Barb, just, can like, you play next round so I can game. watch you get shot up by uh Scandi Recon, please? Sure thing. Alexa, thank play you. Despacito. No, no, copyrighted music, my only weakness. <laughs> yes, Bob. Shut up. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's look at TSB is op four. They're mounting up in a speedboat minigun. I'm looking for Scandi Recon right now. Scandi Recon uh, is blue they... four. And they're mounted oh, yeah, in... Yeah, yeah, we have two different now. Yeah, there's two different factions now for TSV. It's yes. kind of funny. But I'm also seeing yeah, Potato FC. He came in as a, a solo guy. He's one of the newer TSV guys. Uh, he's also Blue 4 uh, under B2 under the uh, bottom group. So hmm. now, uh, for those of you just joining us, uh, this is Friday Night Fights every Friday uh, between about 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the EU branch, and 8 p.m. to about 11 p.m. Usually it goes a little later, though. Eastern Standard Time is the North American branch. Uh, each branch is three rounds of PvP. Uh, there's no particular order on how things go. Some rounds can have vehicles. Some can be cash destruction. Uh, everything kind of varies, but there is an overarching theme of just having fun PvPing with each other. Uh, there's at least about a dozen different communities that take part of this uh, that bring in numbers and uh, can get factored into any different teams, but it's also a bunch of people that play solo. So yeah, uh, with all that is, is really uh, I'm just really quick. Mm -hmm. I, I adore FNF because it's one of the very, very few communities or events, whatever, that does PvP and pure is able PvP, to, pure PvP and mm -hmm people don't get salty too much yep you see it because now and then, especially with, with like the rules but like um oh everyone was salty they, they, after audrey hato's stomp that was great but that, that as well that as well but <laughs> that was an exception to the rule um, mm -hmm. they, they really streamed by this out and yeah uh, anyone can play you don't have to be part of a, of a team clan yep. unit whatever the fuck you want to i'll explain it. why the five was gone um, in a second it, it's it's really great all right, so people in chat are asking me what happened to the uh, VOD for EU. Um, it's on. It's not uh, uploaded. Actually, no, it's uploaded on your shenanigans. It's still processing right now. Not shenanigans. Jesus, my VOD's channel uh, on YouTube. The reason we don't keep the VODs on uh, Twitch is because last year uh, I was banned for the month of August because someone wrote a false report and uh, it was on a VOD. Uh, for someone saying the word that rhymes with French bread, baguette, and uh, that got me banned for a month, so now I can't take any chances. So we uh, just delete the VODs on the spot because uh, if I get banned again, Twitch has told me it's going to be permanent. So I have to kind of pull my own security because unfortunately there's people out there that uh, are trying to get me shut down. So can't really, can't really do anything about that. So again, I apologize to people that want to watch the VOD back immediately, but... I have to keep myself safe because I, yeah. 
if I go down, uh, then a lot of things go down, and that will be unfortunate. But anyway, yeah, uh... I'm not stepping up to take your place. Yeah, uh, please don't. It's fine. I, you don't have to tell me twice. Um, <laughs> so, a note about Blue 4 equipment. Um, uh, Blue 4 appear to be uh, equipped with scars for most riflemen, uh, as well as uh, M4 Block 2s with M2 yep. and 3s for grenadiers and teammates. Um, but I'm also seeing um, SU-230 uh, sites, as well as a... Uh, uh, I want to say I saw an NGO site, but I can't find it now. No, I'm uh, seeing I'm seeing some of the Blue Four guys getting ACOGs and stuff. Um, yeah, these are very long range um, sites. So uh, we yeah. see Charlie team for Blue Four uh, setting up on that ridge. Uh, Platoon has them. Foot walking uh, northwest right now, but uh, they're going to have not only the weaponry but also the optics for these uh, longer range engagements. Uh, mm -hmm. Matt team has a Carl Gustav, the RHS Carl Gustav, and not the Javelin. Yep. Um, Top four has the uh, RPG-32. We've been seeing a lot more of that recently, too. Now, I do want to yeah, also point this out. Um, there are people on Op4 that also have Seven some uh, PGO sites for AKs. So we're going to see a bit of a longer range right? engagement one battle here because... Players. Normally, they're only allowed to take one times magnification scopes on either side. So, you know, basically red dots or holographic sights and whatnot. But in yeah, this case, we're seeing a more long range scope approach come down. I think that's quite interesting, uh, especially in this open fields here. Uh, it's going to be really beneficial to have those scopes. But it's also interesting to see that a lot of Blue 4 guys are being equipped with 7.62 weaponry instead of uh, 5.56. Five, Usually when they get the scars, it's uh, 20 round 7.62. Uh, still, the AK, in my opinion, is a bit better because it has those extra 10 bullets in the magazine. But yeah, I mean, every time I'm looking at the Scar guys, I'm seeing um, like ER, uh, not ERCOs, the uh, ARCO vanilla scopes that can have a little bit better magnification. So interesting choices here today for the uh, mission developer to allow these types of scopes. So we're probably going to see some more longer range engagements here. And right off the get-go, I am seeing some Op4 boats come down. We see some uh, yeah. a big convoy of trucks, two guys that are AFK for Op4. That's unfortunate. And Blue4 yeah. sent a big team up to Ferris to uh, camp the northern side. Quick, quick note, looks like a bunch of TSB members as well as another squad, or, or maybe that's just one squad and TSB's just one of the teams, but uh, mm -hmm. I see Outcast and Hunter in those two boats, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, um... Now, the, well, uh, did, with those two in those boats, uh, mm -hmm. both of those boats are destined to die before they reach land. Oh, funny. Uh, actually, Blue Four has already had a casualty. Uh, Arctic Fox uh, fell out of a guard tower. He is back awake, though, but uh, he was unconscious for a little bit. Got to make sure you don't sprint up uh, staircases here, because otherwise, uh, you know, you can accidentally arm it yourself, fly out of the building, and... Uh, hurt yourself here now uh, again for those of you that are new i'm gonna quickly go over the uh number scheme here because you see all these uh numbers and letters going over names and whatnot so first and foremost you have platoon hq uh for blue four that's in this battle tower right here when you scroll in closer it goes through individual names but from a distance platoon hq would be the platoon commander his 2ic slash first sergeant uh the platoon medic and the marksman uh, who usually is the only one that gets a 7.62 rifle with a powerful scope. Uh, it's almost always a medium optic scope from Vanilla. Then you have A, B, or C. Those represent Alpha, Bravo, or Charlie squad lead. And then you have uh, A1 and A2, B1, B2, oh, C1, sorry, and uh, C2. Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, yep. Severe down to the south. He is open up on those boats. He's spotted those With the uh, truck, yep. To, uh, to our truck, yep. So, so he, that's, that gambit's been spotted, and... Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep an eye out for casualties. Yeah, so that, that truck's going to follow them. They're going to have to return fire to try to wave it off. That's probably why they went with the open top trucks, because it makes the uh, gunner more exposed, and they're just going to be spraying at each other here. But uh, the boats do have the fire superiority here, because each one uh, has two 50 cal machine guns, and we're already starting to see them fire back. But as I was saying, you have uh, Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Bravo 1, Bravo 2, Charlie 1, Charlie 2. Uh, those that represent the individual teams of a squad. And it's about six people per team, give or take. Uh, and then you have Delta. Uh, the D is going to be the squad lead, giggity. And uh, D1, 2, and 3 represent machine gun teams, which are uh, four-man teams of a team leader, uh, the machine gunner, which for Blue 4 is usually a 240 Bravo, and for Op 4 and Independence, a PKP. And then uh, D4 is the MAT team, also known as the uh, AT team. 
uh, which can either have a javelin or an RPG reloadable or a Carl Gustav. It depends on the mission maker. Uh, and then additional assets you might see, if you ever see any Fs, those are, uh, excuse me, E's are uh, any crewmen for vehicles that are dedicated, like um, triple one sevens were used a lot in the EU branch, uh, and then F are pilots. And I don't think I've ever seen anything past F. No, though they are thinking about adding that if they uh, if they maintain these numbers, yeah. Yeah, if they maintain these numbers, they're gonna start going into. Anyway, Sai, thanks for the thirty-month resub. Yeah, yes, we are, have about one hundred and twenty-six players on the server right now. in the alphabet. It is one life PVP. Uh, four uh, three rounds on that south side of the severe and Jane but, Saunders, great name. This is everyone. Uh, they're just kind of if I were to go into the uh, TFAR channel the right now, now, I can get you an accurate uh, number count huge, here. Uh, uh, there's 121 uh, people on the server that are actively playing. Along that, uh, Plus, Barb and myself, it would be 123, uh, but we're spectating, so we're not in the TFAR channel. Of that tall ridge that Blue Force Charlie Swat has set up on. Mm -hmm. um, T5 Bay morphing through some uh, foliage as uh, as they are schlepping 15 people on in that BTR, but yep. um, yeah, th this this plan uh, could work. The uh, big issue that I see is the fact that they have to go up and down all these hills. However, yep. if they're able to find or spot out Blue Force defenses, they can take cover, you know, in one of the, the low grounds, work their way up to the ridge, and work over from there. Um, and then they would have the high ground. So the BTR crews, for example, that's E. Uh, and then the real pilots, so you would see it as F. So that'd be an mm -hmm. interesting uh, take. We'll see or if they actually end up doing that. But uh, right now... I mean, so Op4 so is dismounting early to uh, because of that 50 cal. But the two boats, they did camp the corner on the bottom of the map. Uh, now they're starting to come around again. Blue 4 again being super cautious. I think some of Blue 4 has spotted... Uh, the major op four groups coming up. If you look at uh, Bates, Wash, and Sea Sands, uh, that are part of Charlie too. So I think they're going to start trying to set up a line here to engage. But what I'm more curious about is uh, when Blue Four figures out that op four only has one single large force and two boats going down, uh, will the group at Ferris come around and try to hit that op four force in the rear uh, to open up another avenue of fire? Because every time we've seen that, at least today for the EU matches. Uh, it's worked out really, really well for the attacking team. But now we're actually I seeing really... Op4 branch out. Um, some guys are heading east, some are heading north, but go ahead. Well, I was going to say, based on the fact that they have, Blue 4 has a good 20 to 24 people, if I had to guess, uh, in and around the objective marker, I'd be willing to bet that the, that uh, secondary force of the north that uh, Ferris would push around south and try to get behind and they've been spotted yep truck started spotted. opening fire first it was trying to engage that btr 70 uh that 70 is crew by bay it's gonna start firing back uh the 50 cal can penetrate that 70 to engage it but that truck it's very exposed and it's already taking fire they've been pulled back so yeah so, by the way, quickly on the tracers, uh, red means that uh, the bullet's going on the full muzzle velocity, green means uh, it's starting to lose velocity, and then blue means it's lost a significant amount of velocity. So, uh, if you get hit in the chest rig from a blue round, uh, you're only going to get a bruise or maybe a minor wound. Whereas, if you get hit by a red round, it's going to be like a large velocity wound or something. So, it just affects the, um, just shows you the muzzle velocity of the rounds, and then... Usually, uh, blue rounds that go out are, uh, what, did you just uh, see someone get headshot or something? Uh, yeah, the person next to Wash, they took a, a round of the face. Ooh, yeah. Like, they were dead instantly. See, prone's nice, because it lowers your target file. Poor Wash trying to bandage him, but it also puts your face first. So, if you get hit, it's probably going to be on the face, and that's going to be an insta-kill. So, I think Wash is realizing his buddy's down. He's going to roll down there, but... Uh, just a lot of machine gun fire coming out from uh, Op4 here, and they have drawn yeah, first blood. 
great firing line. Uh, just as far as uh, volume of fire, we see those PKMs just lighting up, as well as the PKT and the KPVT 14.5 mil on that BTR, as I'm pretty sure they just killed Severe. Yep, the truck, uh, both guys have just gone down. Also, oh, there were. Uh, yeah. it's not just that one Blue 4 guy, there's a second one that also died, so Blue 4 already at 4 KIA, while Op 4 hasn't gotten, I don't think anyone's even been shot yet. Uh, I know no, the BTR got hit by a few rounds, but... You no, see the bullet impacts right there. Was Charlie squad lead, so that's a bit of a command uh, conundrum right there, yeah. yeah but we've seen uh, we've seen teams yeah, operate yeah. without squad leads before, though, so it shouldn't be that bad. But yeah, I mean, uh, engine on one of these trucks is smoking, so we've seen teams operate without the squad leads. What I was trying to say, but that's about what would you say that is, Libra? About 800 meters from the BTR and the enemy infantry to Severe's truck. Something about yeah, about about 700, 750, I would say, uh, based off of the map. So I'd say a good shot, but they fired about a thousand rounds, so they were bound to hit something eventually. I can see why you say, yeah, it's it's somewhere between 725 and 775. But yeah, no, I mean, just blind suppression with 14.5 millimeter. Because you got to remember, BTRs, they're not firing 12.7 or you know 50 cal, which are you know very similar rounds. They're firing 14.5, which is a lot bigger going to do a lot more damage and honestly one or two of those to your torso uh you're either going down or you're dying that's that's it for you oh yeah yeah it, it, it is very much an anti but anyway Tin, round. thank you for the 27 months resub barbary said hide material, back um so thanks for playing among us and showing me that game i'd love to revitalize uh, but, tsb uh, game night ooh, but hope you keep enjoying and the ops uh, and i hope you get a little kick out of the stream load. we see icebergs team with hunter devincer galil yep. jason gray and slushy tsb showing up uh, they made the landfall down on the Cape itself, uh, and we'll see where they progress on foot. I wonder if they're going to use those boats as, like, supporting fire as so the I, infantry moves up. That'd be great to see. I, I do agree. I will also point out that those boats are fully crewed, and they also have one additional guy in each of the passenger slots. I don't know why, but lead boat is starting to take engagement from something. I think that's some sort of uh, M249 based off of the fire. Um, they also have a 50 cal up there that's firing, but... Oh, that's, a, that's a lot of rounds. Yeah, they have a 50 yep. cal, uh, SCAR, that's a 240. Those are, both of those are 240s and then a 50 cal. Yep, so you can tell, um, the 50 cal, it's, the rounds are just starting to lose muzzle velocity as they get to the boat, so... I don't think Op4 is doing that on purpose, but that's a really good way for them to, uh, keep their distance and not get shot. Uh, but... Talk about social distancing. Yeah, right? Uh, but between the boat and, uh, the, you know, the boat's maneuverability and uh, the fact that the boat's uh, two gunners have to fire at a big static target while they're, you know, riding the waves, I don't think either of them are going to get an accurate hit on each other and instead just go for pure harassment. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because the more eyes they can take away from the front line when i say this i mean the boat taking uh people uh blue fours uh forces to stare at the sea instead of the ground uh the more opportunity op four has to maneuver on a position because i've seen time and time again in friday night fights where it just takes one guy with an asset to pull everyone to look in their direction and then the entire op four force will come up in a different way and will completely catch the defending team off guard that's probably not going to be the case here because op four is really well out of position but we do see the delta teams Ooh, yep. and a bravo team moving out in vehicles and they might try to get a quick reposition here but charlie squad lead is pushing up with the other m2 vic they could potentially catch the uh btr and these vics out of position and get quite a few kills here yeah, Bravo and Charlie the Blue Four. BTR is uh, a big target because it's filled with dudes. People in the BTR, as well as yeah. another dozen in the trucks, as well as the UAZ, which I'm pretty sure is Showland. Uh, no, it's how it's not such an halls. Uh, is the uh, platoon leader? I don't know where he's at, but they're setting up here. This M2 truck. This is gonna be close. He's, he's he's seeing them. He's he. he Oh, no, they don't. Wow. They didn't, they didn't. didn't even see the smoke trail. If that 50 cal were to turn around and start spraying at the BTR, it would struggle to not find a position where they'd at least hit somebody. How have no one spotted anyone? We we see this time. Hold up. M2's turning. Nope. Oh, wait. Nope. 
No! <laughs> we see this time and time again. It's the fog of war. People will be right next to each other and never notice. must must have spotted them. Oh, yeah. Iander, no, uh, maybe? Nope, Iander's pulling out yeah. his AT4. Yep, they spotted him. Spotted that four. If he were to wait, he could see the BTR to his right. They need that M2 to reposition right away. But I think it's pulled off, yeah. So it's going for a flanking attack instead. We're seeing, uh, I mean, it's still got 17 souls on board. So yep. that, that's, a, that's two squads or so. It's uh, out of the fight here, though. It's uh, continuing to push around. I, I find it a little yeah. funny that the BTR, which is the fire, uh, it's the support asset, is uh, leaving these infantry to die because they're downhill. Yep. And, oh, this is... Meanwhile, that truck is uh, driving up behind Op 4's uh, line here. It's just the M2 guy can't seem to aim properly. There we go. Now he's going to start spraying behind. Gets a kill on the spot. Oh, oh shit. That went up all its own. And yep. there's a BTR over there. Nope, that's a mistake. Gunner's dead. Tweak King. Uh, he's also under a heavy fire. He's gonna be oh, he's yeah, he's about to get shot. We're seeing a lot of bullets impact on his arms. He's trying to pull away now. They did, they did get one kill, but honestly, they needed to get that kill and then maneuver because that gunner was super exposed. So I think that's a bit of a mistake that they left their other infantry group behind when they could have just used that 50 cal. If they just sprayed into that BTR, they would have gotten so many kills because of how packed that BTR was. Grenade going off, knocking two dudes out. One of them wakes hey, back I'm up. I'm surprised this fight over here um, with uh, Blue Four Bravo is taking as long as it is. And we're seeing that infantry now that is dismounted from the BTR. They're pushing up to the adjacent crest on foot. Uh, yeah. And they're gonna get. They're gonna start firing on this team as Max Valak and Musad. Uh, they. They've all been going down to a GP25 fire. Um, yeah, they, w they want that's to unfortunate. fire around their favorite rock. So th they're all down and looking rough. Although Valak wakes back up. Uh, disregarding that, though, a um, few casualties in the valley for Red 4, but I'm not seeing dead bodies, just uh, downed or injured bodies. Yep. Um, and honestly, Red got out of this pretty lucky. Um, this is a very open area. If Blue Four had spotted them 10 seconds earlier, so yep. a lot more casualties. As Smoke that the fire is coming in from Red Four Bravo onto this compound, uh, they've taken the guard towers and everything up there. But uh, there, potato there, uh, gets gunned down, caught out of position by that enfilading fire. Red Four is picking these guys. Ander gets picked off. I Ander goes down. Yep. Now, a lot of these Blue 4 guys, though, have uh, ARCOs and whatnot, which offer a little bit of good magnification here. So as long as someone like Nafs is able to still poke his head out and get some licks in here, uh, they can still fire back and do well. But now that BTR is pushing up, and I, Yander's back up, but will he be able to make this uh, range of an AT4 shot? He claims he is the AT god. I want to see it. And it's about 200 meters. I don't know if he has a range finder or not, or if he'd be able to just guess it. Uh, Eander, he's the AT guy. He should be able to guess it. You just, you just want to see him fail. You want to see him... No, I want to see him yeah, either I make see. the shot and I get content, or he fails, and then I don't have to call him AT god anymore. And also, Night Owl is coming up and getting a triple double tap here, even reloading, but he's going to get three free kills. That's nice. Well, we're seeing these guys. I mean, they, uh, Yanni, I love the keyhole he's doing right here. And there, that was a near miss. And there goes Potato. He dies to the uh, BTR-70. But I don't see any other AT that uh, Scandi Recon can utilize here. So at this point, they need to focus on kills. Jeez, there's, uh, there's five dead bodies up here on this hill. 
uh, op four is on. So nice to me, um, Tricky and who had that uh, M two triple R bit. He actually survived in his move. Yep, away. he's pulled back, he's but Op 4's uh, captured that M2, and now they're firing it up at that compound along yeah. with some other elements. So this four-man team doing a lot to stall, but let's see, Yanni at four kills, Flying Finn at three kills, Naf's on one kill, Eander on one kill. We have a guy named Jello still alive. He is also on one kill. I mean, these guys... They're getting a lot of good kills here. Uh, Cause again, you don't want to play this to, you know, be the one badass to kill everyone. You just want to make sure that you have a positive KD to contribute to your team. And since Op4 had the numbers advantage, uh, you know, this is really good on Scandia Recon here to even those numbers out. Even then, they're still able to look around and try to find some uh, firing solutions. We've got Nafs now firing at the Southern group and making a few shots here. So that's good to see. But another thing that this is doing is this is costing up for time. Now, uh, so far all of the rounds in EU were 50 minute. So it's already been about uh, 15 minutes here. Uh, Blue Four might be able to stall this out for another 10, maybe 15 minutes as well. And that's just gonna leave Op4 with a lot less time to maneuver on. However, Op4 does have that uh, TSB team that's been deployed uh, on the little peninsula tip. So we might see them try to move him, but Blue Four is still heavily entrenched in that original position. Yeah, I'm wondering if uh, the Scandi Recon is here. Scott, yeah, I, words are fucking hard sometimes. I wonder mm -hmm. if Scandi Recon is going to be able to break out of this pocket. Uh, Yanni trying to find some AT. He's taking shots from a member of Platoon HQ. He doesn't know where they're coming from, and he dies. Lucky headshot, and he's dead immediately. Uh, yeah, their, their chances are getting slimmer and slimmer. The more bullets they take, um, this means that they're not going to get out as easy. No, they're, they're surrounded. Uh, Pretty much. They still have those Humvees, but they have to expose themselves to get to them, and those open mm -hmm. four-door Humvees... I think it's interesting difference. that the BTR has been pulled back, though, and instead it's being used as side security, I guess, in fear of AT, because that one AT round came close by, so... Blue 4 at least yeah. being able Ooh. to bluff that BTR to stay away. I've seen some boats, or the boats... Uh, yeah, the boats are still harassing the beach. Amazing. Yep, exactly, harassing. Uh, that's the best way to describe it. As, um, Op4 wonder, just demoed the uh, empty truck. I guess opting not to use it. But yeah, both BTRs, at least T5 Bay's uh, BTR is staring back in this compound trying to find a firing arc here. But yeah, I I would just say Blue4 needs to hold this and uh, try to get any licks in that they can. We have Yander watching the uh, back entrance here on the western side. I hope he doesn't blue on blue uh, Twig King that might come up. Yeah, this is not looking good for them. I mean, it's, it's costing them time. The longer they stay alive, the more time expended, obviously. Yep. But this is the entirety of Op 4's force, minus two squads. Jello's running up in the compound, taking fire, but it is uh, just close suppression. Oh, yeah, he, got, he gets through. Very nice. We might see Twig can uh, actually go down the valley and maybe get a kill or two here, but it looks like Op 4 realizing that this is just a distraction. I think they're trying to reposition and move in, uh, especially since they have taken so many casualties up on this uh, hill where uh, Vormulk is uh, bleeding out and X-Tech is trying to crawl down. Yeah, this is... Um, I mean, I don't think there's going to be much more action until Bob Ford deals with this little yep. uh, pocket that they have. But in the entire compound. southern flank of Op4 is now pushing north to try to deal with this compound. So, if anything, not only have uh, has Scandi Recon gotten a good amount of kills, but they are costing Op4 valuable time here to get the objective done. And that in itself can make or break the entire round. Yeah, we've had, uh, in addition to safe start, uh, we've had about 20 minutes or so of game time, and they usually take, you said like, what, about 50 or so? Uh, we'll see a 15 minute, 15 minute, uh, warning before time is up, but other than that, I mean, it's gonna take time if, if this, uh, southern force we're off for, if they're pushing north, and, they, you know, depending on how far they push up, they have that BTR, but it's going to take time for them to remobilize and move down southeast along that ridge line again. Um, every movement is going to take more time to mm -hmm. move back the way they came. By the uh, way, both sides, real quick, have had 13 uh, KIAs even. So uh, it's because... Yep. Go ahead. Red 4, to the north of that compound, they pulled back and consolidated. They're mounting up. They're saying, yep. fuck these guys. 
we're wasting time. They recognized uh, this gambit. And, uh, Another 15 minutes, so like 15 minutes total, 15 minute warning, and then 30 minutes total. But, uh, so about 30 minutes, unless it's yeah, a longer the, round. Southern forces, actually, they're pushing in now to uh, take the kill as yep. Platoon, Delta, Echo, all these guys are, I guess, going to be moving on without them, which I think is the right thing for them to do with this. Point. I agree, but that reduced number, because again, you don't want to split, uh, split, uh, ah, spread your guys too thin here. If the northern group goes and engages the blue four positions, blue four is going to have the numbers advantage here. Uh, op four, especially after that big beating, they need to consolidate their forces. They need to ready the TSB guys to get sent. They need to do something. Because right now the clock is just getting eaten as uh, infantry are choosing to maneuver. Honestly, I think T5 Bay could just mounted up all those infantry and driven up uh, a little closer and dismounted them. Because again, every second that's ticking here is going to get Blue 4 more time to win. But speaking of this, Blue 4, uh, scan your recon, they're dismounting. I think they're going to try to mount up in this truck and get out. Yeah, looks like they're making a run for it as Iander and Hostage Twig King are coming up behind. No one seems to be watching uh, them leave, uh, which is honestly pretty funny, uh, to me at least, the fact that they're able to just kind of walk out after yep. that entire firefight. So I think Yander was yeah, doing some recon for their route here, because you see him running out. Yeah. And Ooh, almost getting hit by his own Vic. But I wonder if Twig Kane is going to be uh, picked up by his team. Nope, he is uh, going to be brought off. Yep. Uh, which would be smart, especially with that LR, and just in time. As, as this massive Op4 Alpha. team starts pushing in again, yeah. it's eating away the clock. I love it. I love that Scandi Recon is able to be mobile like this, inflict a shit ton of casualties, and instead of trying to play Alamo, they're going to try to do something else tactical to get behind the enemy and give more black eyes here. It's like what they say in the Imperium. 99% casualty rate, objective complete, and that's the 15-minute warning. Yep. We're already at that, which is Jeez. surprising. That's but, that's a I quick mean, round then. But yeah, up for 15, 15 minutes to I think it's 15 minutes for them to at least touch the flag. And then as they have the flag, sudden death will be enabled. So I get why they have the possibly, uh, yes. shorter time here. But wow. Yeah, no, up for needs to figure out a plan. They got 15 minutes to get into this AO. They're trying to reposition to attack from the north. And TSB team has been picked up by the boats and are being repositioned but i think that's because away Alpha, red forward um they took too long getting down to the south mm -hmm. so it's the tsb guys and i say this with complete sincerity i think that they got fed up with waiting and they just decided to go on and try another plan because they obviously weren't getting the support that they were going to need to take yep. on this combat not without alpha not without that btr they weren't going to be doing be able to do anything okay, except so die back there mm-hmm but, I mean, at least for now, Op4 uh, that are back at this little um, cop here, they need to get mounted up in that BTR and continue to push forward because their prey has eluded them, essentially. And it, it, it seemed impossible for them to do so. so. But it was they made it, yeah. Perfect opportunity. Oh my and god, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, the Matt team gunner is Jedi. Jedi is in the northernmost most tower of the uh, perimeter. Look where the vehicles are pushing. Yep, I'm looking from his perspective. He sees that Delta II truck. He's looking right at it. But he doesn't have uh, the accurate range, I don't think. To, I, I would not make that shot. Although now it's him so, still, so. But he um, he's privy to uh, that <laughs> information as they're dismounting. And Oh, he actually took a shot. Beautiful hit. Did I think it was actually no just way. short. No, it... It looked okay, like yeah. it hit at first, but yeah, that was just short. That's it's forcing these the guys point. to pop smoke and pull away. There that it is! It. <laughs> Striker it. Boa going down. Beautiful. He'll I probably wake back up from that, that, but I mean, again, I said this in EU, I'll say it in NA. There are some really good AT players in Friday Night Fights, and you'll see them on both sides. Again, uh, do you remember like four or five weeks ago? Uh, yeah. Don't you remember that AT shot of the MRAP like uh, four or five yes. weeks ago on that uh, NAP operation? RPG, well, RPG an, from like 400 or 500 meters away. It was beautiful. With an iron sight. With yeah. a fucking iron sight. Just goddamn. Uh, I mean, you got to also consider that um, that Carl Gustav 
is also only an iron sight, and that was what? No, it, it, has, a, it has a scope. Does he? Oh, he does. Really okay. Good. Usually he gets it only an have, iron sight, but yeah, you're right. It doesn't have any markings looking down it as far as like, you know, visual range finding or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just like the, the scope. It's just a magnification range. scope. Magnification and, you know, hey, it, rocket goes here. But, mm -hmm. uh, so it's still a good shot. It just, you know, lets him see a little I, farther. But we have the other Delta away. team Vic yeah. coming up. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. That was a big shot. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, two more trucks and that BTR. Jedi's whipping it out again. Jedi, I was about to say, but he should try and wait for that BTR. I don't think no, he he's too good. Coming, so. He's too good. Oh, an evasive maneuver by that gas. Madsy bailing out and putting some shots up by Jedi. And the vehicle has now driven all the way up. It's dismounting. Frost is right there, though. Starts getting some suppression, gets a kill, but trades with them. And Russian Fury getting that, and then he goes down by... Yes. So the tower to the south, they were uh, giving some overwatch, it seems, but... Fortunately, Penn just uh, disconnected, and now Jedi is alone. Map SZ fall by PDO. Chernar's closing by... Oof. Make sure you load the right uh, yeah. mod set when you join it up. Now, if Jedi were to look out right now, he could get a really easy shot on that BTR. I'm not now, sure if he TSB, hears it from up here, though. If TSB, the TSB team on Red Force, if they look left, they would see a full Blue Force squad near Yeah. The position, also, one of the guys um, in the boat jumped out. So they did. That was Gors. Yes, Gorski. Russian Fury now coming up. Oh, Jedi's whipping out the AT. No, no, he's being a cocktease. Oh, he's whipping out the AT. I think he's serial this time. Nope, okay. Well. Yeah, there's fire going on all sides here. He's trying his best. TSV getting engaged by Serbi here. Oh, rocket goes up, actually hits Jedi. Jedi is down. Wow. He took shrapnel from uh, some kind of rocket. And Beautiful. As Russian Fury is pushing up to the roof now, and should be able to get that execution. As Russian almost gets friendly fired. Mm hmm. There is fire going everywhere. There is contact everywhere. And Scandi Recon is now driving back into the AO here. TSB, meanwhile, are dealing with some blue four guys that started engaging them just to their left and are uh, trying to deal with that accordingly. <laughs> what? Bridges was in one of the armored M2s. Uh, it broke, and the way he was aiming, it ejected him out of the building. Amazing. AT just came out, hit the uh, BTR-70. I'm not seeing any cook-off, though, but it looks like the gun That's might be disabled. I mean, rockets have hit this tower and it's still standing. Looks a little bit worse for wear. Hold up, TSB has a guy running up on them. A wash, Galil goes down. Devincer gets the kill. All right, that was lucky. Wash oh, missed all those nice. easy headshots. Iceberg going down. Hunter getting shoot up. That's because they started engaging a guy with a 249, unfortunately. Fun guy. And also Sam. Sam, Sam what a name. Handwich. Meanwhile, there's a blue four position getting overrun. Oh, big boss is on, off four two. Probably playing as a solo guy. And uh, Marco comes down and knocks out Chunkly and gets the double tap. So eight minutes remaining. Blue four's line is starting to fall apart here. Yeah, to a degree, but with how fragmented Op Four's assault has been, I mean, look at this combat by the BTR. I see Russ and Davis down. Uh, BTR is not through. A Montgomery's guy up, he could get a few licks in. As, yeah, um, and I don't know why they all this none of them decided to do this. This is not the compound. Uh, I guess they don't really know which compound it is, but they should be able to tell based on the number of blue for our, you know, our guarding an area. Uh, I think that's a misstep on their part. Too. Montgomery we're not getting those hits. Completely. Or, you know, do this kind of assault, I mean. Mm -hmm. um, and then the northern attack, they're, they're trying something. They're, you know, consolidating in this tower. You know, wow. Waiting for some kind of... I think that was by Opfor over here, but... 
but Hot they need damn. to start moving. The PTO is starting to open fire, but it's opening fire on friendly forces. Yep. <laughs> Again. Uh, yeah, Red 4 has been... Oh, another Op uh, 4 guy down. A fog of War, disclaimer, of course. Not everything is as clear as we see it, but yep. at the same time, um... Uh, it, 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 G legs the marksman it's, right it's here. Surprising. It's always surprising. A stray Sometimes dog who has an LR. It's a good surprise. Sometimes it's not a good surprise. This is one of those not so good surprises. Scandia recons dismounted. They're coming in. Already scoring a lot of kills. Over to the southwest in this open compound, uh, as well as a few red four bodies. Mm. I think Blue 4 is too stretched out right now. However, we do have Scandia Recon coming on the rear of the southern push. Yep. Uh, Blue 4 and Op 4 are pretty even on the ridge line right now. It's just going to uh, solo guys right here. Fun guy about to knock Hunter out. Yep. yep. That was rough. I'm sure TSB has, has been pretty much now. wiped. Yeah, go machine stream any time now and uh, keep <laughs> Uh, Strathenberger and Snow are the last two remaining op order up here on this ridge is uh, Fun Guy and Sam Handwich. Are, There's a BTR uh, blindly driving into the objective. Uh, I think the gunner's dead. There's also a guy dead on top of it. Uh, but it'll probably get AT4. My biggest concern, though, for Blue 4 is this massive northern push starting to come in. And Blue 4 does not have a lot defending. Dooley gets out of the BTR. Uh, he might yeah, try to solo take this objective, thinking that the uh, flag is in the Hainer, and he'd be right. I think he... I'm surprised he hasn't been spotted out, especially with all those guys up... Well, well the, the, the uh, uh, fortification out. tower, they're staying low because the uh, boats have been constantly spraying that position, oh. but unfortunately, Germania have, decides yeah, to end Dooley. Yeah. He did not have his gun up, and he got caught out of the... I caught with his pants down in a matter of speaking. Mm -hmm. So we saw Scandia Recon trickling in. They're going to go for the uh, southern uh, Op 4 position. There's a lot of dudes here, but that is just a distraction as Op 4 tries to get their northern group in. And this isn't just Dooley. This is a lot of dudes. I also see T4 Herb in there, another really good player. And, I mean, yeah, just if, a lot of guys. I I cannot stress this enough. This is, I think, going to easily overwhelm that one blue four position. Uh, as long as they... So. We have, yep. We have Black and Bridges up here on their flank. If Maskell and uh, the rest of these guys don't really spot them out, I mean, this is a very good ambush surprise position for them relative to uh, this infantry push from off board. And if that BTR can suppress the uh, other battle tower near the uh, crane as Bors going out. is pulling up in the boat. They beached it. And Stanners gets out and is no longer... Oh, Gors is still in the gun. The rear turret uh, is firing? What? Get him, rear turret! I think Standards is in that, but Standards is out. Oh, no, Standards is just crashing. That's what's happening. You see that too, don't you? Um, I think the boat is haunted. Hmm. I. Oh, wait, no, my mistake. This is Russian, uh, what's it called? Matrix technology to dodge headshots. Easy, easy game, yep. And oh, he's still oh, dead! Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't yeah. enough! It wasn't Neo, enough, Matrix! Neo, Neo, you have to still dodge the bullets! You can't just wiggle <laughs> about like a fucking wacky, waving, inflatable arm tube man. Oh my god. BTR just pushed up, got a kill on some dude uh, in the medical building. Uh, but Blue 4 is now consolidating guys to defend. Three minutes remaining for Op 4 to at least touch the flag, but I'm not seeing all the Op 4 numbers. Where did the Op 4 numbers go? There was a bunch on the beach. Like, did they die? They had to. I, have, I don't know where they are. I see two bodies uh, by a broken out truck. There has to be more, though. Yeah, Chub Chub is actually able to push up to Black's position and... Uh, oh, so the marksman for Blue Fort set up on the southern side. I'm going to quickly check his kill count, but he might have been able to... I just saw one of them drop uh, T4 Herb. Uh, no, that was Legs. He has zero kills according to what I'm seeing. Interesting. 
and we just saw a blue four guy snipe out a guy that was about to execute black. So, our immediate 180 here. We have two minutes remaining. I don't think Op4 is going to be able to touch it. No, and there's still this huge group down here by this uh, blown out compound here in the southwest. And yeah, but they're being suppressed by Scandi Recon. Yeah, Scandi Recon coming back into this very surprisingly, but they are making a difference yet again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I think between the time they spent just staying alive, now, oh, I say that, Indigo Fox has pulled up. Yep, BTR is pushing BTR. up, trying to pull security here. Patriot trying to uh, go out to get some shots. He gets wounded by a machine gunner. Oh, I didn't even hear the shots. What the fuck? There is no AT defending. No one has AT. That PTR uh, is free range. There should be someone with an M203. Well, yeah, that but that's not going to do much to the 70, because uh, they only have HE rounds. They don't have HEDP. Well, something's hitting it. And... That would be 203 rounds. One minute remaining. <laughs> Op4 needs to sprint to this objective, but no one is close by. BTR will be able to get a few more kills, but it's not going to be enough. Nearisk is trying to pop the tire to this 240, and the marksman is taking shots at it as well. Yep. Uh, it's actually looking like it's taking some damage. I want to say. Oh god, a lot of Scandi Recon just enough. died. I don't know how, but they're dead. Oh. Yeah, Finn is still. Alive. 20 seconds. Yellow, but, mm, nah. That's that's, that's GG. No one's, even, no one's even close. Yep. So again, I have to give it credit to Scandi Recon for stalling the entire Op4 force. Absolutely. It was not their plan, but they rolled with it. They were able to, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. There it is. To stay alive and, uh, fuck, why can't I think of a word? Just, uh, distract. So they're just distracting the majority of all of the Op4 forces, actually. And then when uh, most of them pulled out to the road, the south side lagged behind, and that gave them an Op4. It's funny though, because Op4 started with the advantage of getting a lot of free blue four kills for nothing, and it just took one Scandi boy yeah. team to make all that go away. Arcor getting up! Hold up! Arcor might sneak in! The round is not over yet! No, it's over. They just, they're just letting them play it out and shoot their guns, because Arcor pulls out his pistol. Gets the kill! getting shot in the back and he goes down that's all they need to do they just needed two guys to get in here and they could have capped the flag it says it says overtime excuse me hello it's I over it's, it's over overtime. there it is gg uh, blue four win and there we go i think arcor just wanted to get his last lick in because he's the guy that you know officially runs things <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Good round of roll. So Good round, definitely. Game. Really big balance of power shifts there. I thought it was quite interesting. Anyway, round two will begin momentarily. I am going to go up to the main channel, make sure we are keeping that Close minimum. It, you won oh. off the tire. Oh, really? I think it's tinfoil is the more accurate answer. It's, it's smarter to take the tire off. Okay, question. Can anyone hear Shapur. Shapur. Yeah. 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah.